Hello friends, and just a heads up of Derek's audio in this episode. It's a little wonky because he was out of town recording in a hotel with poor Wi-Fi connection on a laptop that was not made for recording, and we just want to let you guys know that it sounds bad and that is why. Uh, otherwise, you know, thanks for listening and I hope you guys enjoy the show. So if my audio sounds okay right now, it's because when I have both my uh, recorder and the Discord up, shit, it's like overload on this little. I think that's what's happening. And when you, my, or, awesome. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> dark, 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 dark. So, you were sent out on a quest to investigate a possible and probable missing unicorn in the Golden Beaver Wood. And you set out uh, long into the afternoon, and by the time you found a, a cabin in the middle of the woods here, there was nary a ray of sunshine. And you could hear moans and haunting cries of some creatures surrounding you. And you were coaxed into the building. Inside you found a group of uh, ne'er-do-well survivors. And they all were trying to uh, separate and stay safe in their own way. Uh, the one half-elf went upstairs and was trying to concentrate on a spell to repel these undead creatures. Whereas the family stayed in... The sitting area and uh, as you recall soon after arriving the small child tore into his mother and in this tussle uh, Balrog ran in and thrust his saber through the back of the child's skull mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now soon after this there was also an incident with the half elf upstairs who was thrown from the second floor seemed to have been murdered and then just being torn to pieces by these ghouls as they came closer and closer now that he's not projecting this spell back downstairs you see a half orc who's been investigating the living room for some time and you can see that uh he is pretty dumb and doesn't know anything the girl that's been what looked like mortally wounded you see that she's actually not been injured at all and just covered in blood you see her fiddling with the big cuckoo clock that's in the living room and she unlocks the compartment you see that she turns into this weird black skinned creature with these alien like yellow eyes and she rotates and attacks the half orc they get into a wrestling match and as soon as they separate you see that they're now a two of the half orcs you made a decision to go ahead and tie these two characters up set them aside as you were going to investigate further the clock you figured out and upon opening you found a nice cylindrical platform where you two hit a button and then descended down beneath the house when you got down to the and, very and, bottom, and both creatures are both creatures are tied upstairs correct correct Yes. So you've made your way down below this house and you're several floors, or several, I don't want to say miles, you're probably about 60 feet, 100 feet below the surface. And this platform lands and there's a nice, sterile white hallway that's being lit by these magical orbs that glow across the side here. And down at the end of this hallway, you see this strange halfling creature uh, dressed in all grays and blacks, dark cloak. He looks at you with these wild eyes. You can see they're just huge bags underneath and he's got this just malicious looking grin with several of his teeth either loose or missing and he just kind of googles at you. Why don't you both roll a perception checks for me? Damn it. What dice is that? <laughs> Your D twenty, you're gonna use that for most everything. Okay. Okay. Six. I got an eighteen. Okay. Astroth, you can see that with that eighteen, uh, this this guy is deranged. 
but beyond him, you can see this door, and it's open a bit, and you can see something going on in the room behind him. Okay, how how close is Astroth from this guy? About 50 feet away. He's at the end of this hallway, and you've just got off this platform. So wait, wait, wait. wait so what, what, are we, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? Well, uh, it, it, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I missed out a little bit. Can you... So there's there you can see beyond this guy, and there's obviously some hubbub going on back there, but you can't tell quite what it is. Correct? Yeah, Astaroth sees that there's there's some like lights and moving uh, going on beyond this room. Okay. And uh, hmm, I don't know. What are we thinking here, Astaroth? Um, I think uh, you know. You know, Astroth's kind of had enough of this shit. You know, he he wants to he wants to get down to the bottom of things. Um, there's been a, a lot of chaos happening throughout the night, a lot of uh, unexplained horrors and death. Um, I think he's going to uh, try approaching this guy and um, questioning him, asking him what the deal is with this hidden layer and the door behind him and everything that is is going on. As soon as you take a first step, his eyes go wide with like this paranoid frenzy, and he puts his hand out facing you and pointing towards the ground. So this is where we're going to roll initiative, and you guys are into your first boss fight. Fuck. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Three. Oh, fuck. You, no good for you either? Why do we shit the bed at the worst times? Uh... Oh, he hasn't even been the worst times yet. Yeah, fuck. Eight. So, Balrog, you're up first. Okay. Okay. So so now on your turn, you can do a couple of things. Uh, you get two actions. Um, one of which can be movement. And now you can see your movement speed is near like the, the top. It'll say probably 30 feet is the general 35 feet. Depends on if you have any like perks or racial stats that boost it. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. So that's your movement. So you can move up to 30 feet and do whatever other action. So that includes attacking or, you know, if you're going to pick something up and throw it or if you're going to, you know, chug a potion, that would be considered an action. So you get two actions. Usually, like I said, movement and then, you know, an attack or another action. You can do two actions, but unless you have a special perk, you can't do two attacks. That would be like a character trait. I think Derek, you get into that later with the paladin. If you don't, got it. Yep, okay. Get that. All right, I think I've, I, I think I've got a better understanding now. So, uh, so this fucking psychopath dude with the weird, crazy grin and wonky teeth. The second Derek took a move towards him, he gestured. Astroth, bitch. Sorry, Astroth. Second Astroth. Took a move towards him, Der- uh, Astroth. What did you experience? He got wonky eyed at me, and I stopped. He he got he got bug eyed, and he's like he got into like a threatening stance, and that's what's like game on combat encounter and started. Right. All right. So I think what I'll do is uh, seeing as how he. Um, bam, 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 bam. That's the monsters. Yeah, I kind of picked up on it. I think we'll we'll uh, throw some uh, ranged attack his way. Let's, let's see if he takes uh, kindly to some arrows. Okay, sling those pointy boys. So you're gonna roll your d20 to attack. Okay. And it's a ranged attack, so you'll be using your dexterity modifier. All right. All right, so 16 plus 1, so 17. Not bad. Not bad, Bullrock. You shoot one single arrow, and it flies towards this guy and just stabs into his shoulder with his hand outstretched, and he just, like, kind of takes the hit and kind of falls back for a quick second. Go ahead and roll damage for for an arrow. Longbow... 1d8. Which one is the 8 guy? It's the diamond. Yeah. The diamond, right? 
This guy. It looks like a pyramid ass to ass. Alright, so that's... Oh, fuck. Yep. Three. And then I add... What? One to that? You add your... Uh, a plus three, so six okay, altogether. six. Alright. Alright. Yeah, you can you can move, or... What are you thinking? Uh, I, well, see, uh, Astroth is already advanced on the... the guy at this point correct no, I, I stopped when because i was gonna go investigate him he was so I'm like right next to you i'm one step ahead of you yeah he's like f yeah he's like 40 50 feet away okay so i'll advance 30 feet then okay just move up so you're about within 20 feet of him i'm i'm in within like melee range now for my, my next turn right yes so derek i was telling you that i had uh a story about the It Follows soundtrack. Yes. So I actually had a game that we were playing um, and it was just kind of these one-off, just you know, we play a little sh uh, session and it would be like one and mm -hmm. done. But I had one character, they, they pulled out some wild magic shit and he ended up having like an entity following him and the only people that had seen it follows was me and him, which was really funny because I'd have background music playing and it'd be like, bah, 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 bah. you guys are at the fair and it'd be like, um, uh, Hey, uh, Jeff, could you just, uh, well, the guy's name is Nick. I don't, but anyway, is just like, Hey, could you roll for like a perception real quick? And then all of a sudden like the, it follows soundtrack with, I'd have it like swell and get louder and everybody's like, Oh, that's creepy. And he's like, fuck, dude, that's fuck, awesome. Fuck, fuck, I fuck, love fuck, that. Fuck, that's fuck. so cool. It was torturing, but I was like, Oh, it feels so good. Yeah. But just added to it. <laughs> um, okay. So you're looking up a rule. Go ahead and now ask the question. Oh man. Oh, I was just, I was actually looking up more of a blast radius. Uh, because as soon as the as soon as Balrog makes a move, you see that this weird little half in guy points at the ground right in between the two of you. Actually, sorry, Balrog, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. So now you're gonna roll that d20. Sixteen. Not bad, babe. Oh, bud. You see this guy's eyes just kind of dart in between you, and you can see he's trying to aim at the floor between Astaroth and Balrog. Uh, but unfortunately, Balrog is coming right at him. He gets spooked. His arm raises, and you see that this orb of fire beneath your feet starts to form. You quickly take haste and dive to the side as this gigantic fireball just explodes at the ground. Uh, however, you do take still some significant damage shit no bueno buddy what are we looking at here he's rolling oh <laughs> oh no oh no uh so i rolled 29 damage. oh that's it but, well now you are in you are unconscious you've been knocked out so the explosion beneath your feet your head slams into the wall and you're unconscious but you're still alive uh you now have to do what's called a death saving throw on each of your turns that you're not playing uh that determines whether or not you stay alive uh, unless somebody comes and helps you healing or you know binds your wounds or whatever i got you buddy Astaroth, it is your turn. You've just seen your companion get thrown into the wall and his head goes sideways. Oh, no. I don't like that. It's not cool. I don't man. like that at all. I'm really stressed out right now. Okay. Um, after Astaroth sees that, he uh, runs towards Bullrock to help his um, his teammate out. So I'm going to approach Bullrock's unconscious body. Put your side What would be mouth. better? What would... <laughs> yeah, I teabag him real quick just just because that has to happen i mean fuck it mm -hmm. he went down so you know so. i can tell his neck is broken i said his neck and then i just like real quick kiss his lip with my nuts yeah yep. yep so yeah, with my armor there's a little yeah, bit of dude. breeze that uh that goes up in the nether region and i just do a quick little brush of the lips um and get that little uh red beanbag uh cursed on there um question 
what would be better in this situation? Cure wounds or lay on hands? It depends on what you're trying to do. I believe that the difference. I'm trying to. I'm trying to bring my buddy back, and and I kind of want to uh, heal up my HP at the same time because this guy's scaring the fuck out of me. Well, lay on hands. You have to uh, actually touch the uh, the person you're trying to heal. Uh, where cure wounds is actually a spell, I believe. I think mm-hmm. cure, lay on hands is maybe just a cantrip. Yeah, so lay on hands is a cantrip. Okay, so it's that, not actually a spell. That won't cost you a spell slot, and it will heal less, but it would still, you know, any amount would get him back up and running. And so, say if I use cure wounds, can I do the cantrip on me? Yeah, you could do that on yourself. You can, you can, you can lay your hands on yourself too. I mean, so depending I can... on what you wanna. If you've got a, you know, a pillow or a companion, you can lay your hands on yourself instead. So, yeah, I actually had a question about that specifically. Okay. Um, I'm absolutely going to help uh, Bullrock, even though he's a prick. Um, he's he's late. He's late on rent, which is Thanks, bro. I'm um, not that big of a prick. That's that's not your style. Never. Us. Okay. That's I want to uh, lay hands on a uh, blade in the in the best kind of way Fucking the in my <laughs> so, good. so my lay on hands pool is 15 yep so you can give him any amount of that okay so i could give him some and then give myself some um or is that not in the same turn Mm, I, they'd be they'd be like you handsing you already moved so handsing him would be your action then your turn is over so I can't I can't add HP to myself and him, right? Not in one turn, no. I mean, yeah, unless you're like right on top of him and you do both of those things at the same time. Like if you were there when your turn started. Yeah, got you. Okay, because you got two actions. Blade, what's your overall hit points? I'm sorry. Oh, what what are you when you're when you're healthy? He's zero. He's at zero. He's unconscious. Like full up. Thirty four. Yeah. Like- you have. 34? 31. 31 hit points when you're full? Why do you have more hit points than me? He's a beefy boy. He's a Goliath. Oh, yeah, that's right. But you're also a beefy right. boy. You're a tiefling. So. True. I'm going to reach down. Astroth is going to reach down and touch his limp boy's body, um, <laughs> applying. <laughs> Astroth's lip quivers. As he injects 10 HP into <laughs> Bull Rock's body. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, shit. That is cool. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, all right. So, wait, how do I, like, Kyle? Because I, I set myself uh, as injured or whatever, or. It says that I have to do, like, the death save thing. Yeah. So, on your turn, that's what you're going to do. Okay. Which is now. All right. So. So, now you roll a d20. So. Oh, fuck. The, it should say the rules right there. I'm going to say it wrong, and. It doesn't say shit. It just says death saves. and. I want to say it's 1 to 10 is a, is a fail, and 11 plus is pass. So you get three of those, and you're ro- just rolling a d20. So just three rolls in a row? No, one per turn. So, like, you have a turn, and oh, then I somebody see. has a chance to come and rescue you or anything else. But you're all good to go. You pop back up. I don't know why I'm having you do death saving throws. How much HP did you give him? We didn't even fucking listen to each other. What the fuck? Weed is kicking in, my friend. All right, that's some good shit, okay? He gave me ten. Okay, so now you're now you're at ten, and I just smoked some more gelato punch. Brought to you by Gelato Punch. All right, so I'm at ten, and my max HP is thirty-one. Yep. So you're at ten, brother. Yeah. I'm good. I'm there. All right. So you're prone, laying on the ground. Your head hurts, and you see that this guy is still staring down at you, wide-eyed and weird. Okay. Uh. Well. I think I'd like to heal myself up a little bit more here, if at all possible. And uh, I also, I, I also have the ability to cure wounds. Okay, you can do whatever you want. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my, take a 
take a chance here and, and cast some magic for the first time. Get yourself back up, because you might be saving me here in a minute. This guy seems tough. So, Balrog would like to is, is going to regain his, his footing, dazed, mm -hmm. confused. All right. And uh, just feeling kind of a bit like an ass for just, you know, charging in Pulled there. Pulled a real boner. Does. Yeah, just a big big old horse boner sometimes. You know, it's just a big old... That was my <laughs> nickname. Balrog's nickname when he was <laughs> Goliath High School. Because he was, you know, just just charge right in there, and uh, and so um, he's regained his footing and will uh, evoke, you know, uh, some magic and cure his wounds further. Okay, so so you basically just like spit in your hand and like rub it on your neck, get those cricks out. So go ahead and um, roll up the health on that. All right, and so. This says D8 plus my spell ability modifier. Okay. Yep. All right, so five. Oh fuck! What's going on here? Oh piss! Four. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got four health back, so you're at fourteen. Uh, all right, I'll take it. Well, we're getting you there. We're getting you there. All right. All right. Do you want to do anything else? You can move. I can. Yeah, but after your movement is standing up, which is like a shitty rule, but hey, I'm a shitty guy. Huh? Oh, yeah. You play the game, play the game, you know? Uh, I think I'll retreat mm -hmm. uh, closer to, or well, Astroth is, is now next to me, right? Yeah, he's like laying next to you in like a very comforting hands laid on you situation. This beach towel involved. I'm in that fucking hallway, right? Yep. God damn it. Well, uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm just going to retreat <laughs> a, a little ways to put some distance between myself and collect my uh, thoughts. Oh, you're leaving me to the wolves. That's cool. I just saved you and shit. Um, it's only a half move. I could still... Yeah, so you take you could take a good step back, kind of taking uh, a second to gain your wits again, mm -hmm. and this little man just kind of makes this... <laughs> And turns, darts towards the other room, and you see him fly inside, slam the door, and you hear a... Oh, he's locked us out. Fuck. That little bitch. Fuck, Astroth. Jesus Christ, Astroth, that guy just laid us the fuck yeah. out. Laid me the fuck yeah. out. Thanks again, yeah. by yeah, the way. I got you. Uh, I got you, one? you, boo. For sure. I got you, boo. I got you, one for All sure. Right. And, uh, yeah, so... All right, how how far am I away from that door? Whew. About thirty. Yeah, you're about thirty away from that door. All right, Astroth. Uh, Astroth doesn't like the way feet. That, that is. Yeah, right. Astroth, Coleslaw, whatever his name is. The ass. Ass, ass love. <laughs> ass love. <laughs> I, I thought you said ass. Ass, sloth. ass sloth. Yeah, I think that's what came out of my mouth. Yes. Uh, he's uh -huh. he's he's done with all this bullshit. You know. Perfect. He's he's done with this guy being all gleeful and and fucking giggly and, and throwing fireballs at people. That's not cool. So um, he's gonna move towards right next to the door and he's going to take out his long sword and perform a searing... helicopter. <laughs> helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> perform a searing smite, which is one d six fire damage on top of his weapon. Okay. Well, you got to roll the hit first, baby. Okay. And that's the D20. The D20 plus your attack. Uh, you're probably a proficient. Plus my attack. Shit, where's that at again? I just saw that. So plus four. Okay. So that is 17 total. Wait, what are you attacking? I'm attacking the door. Yeah. The door? He locked it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go I ahead. Wanna, and... I want to bust that baby open. Go for it. Roll damage. Okay. Okay, which you said D6. And it's it's supposed to be searing. Is that so fire? D6. Yes, fire. D6, and then you're also going to roll, what do you say, longsword? It says 1D8 plus 4. Yeah, okay, so roll that 1D8 plus 4, and then also that D6. Rolling them together. This is good audio. Do you like when I talk about the die mm. and the different shapes of the die? Mm. Like how the ones so I, I, hit a, I hit a straight up 6. And then I hit a four. So ten. 
plus, did you add your modifier to? I did not, which is four, correct? Yep. So eight. Wait, 14, right? You said 10 plus four. Oh, yeah, 10 plus four. What did I say? You said eight. <clears throat> you just blast through the door, exploding it into splinters as it just shoots Jesus forward. Christ. You can see that this little creepy fella is just kind of scrambling at this table. But on the other side of the store, you see a lot more and a lot more interesting uh, scene. You, there is this very cube like field. You can see rippling effects as it holds this very strong shape on the floor and inside in between this cube like field you can see what looks like a horse and it's beaten and it seems to be very abused and as you see this it kind of starts floating backwards into this large grid like wall and you can see that it fits perfectly with these other cubes and inside each of these cubes you can see a variety of different monstrosities and strange creatures huge small smoke-like incorporeal and it's just this strange menagerie of all this haunting weird nature and the guy is just scrambling to, like, pick up all these glass vials on the table. God damn. Astroth, we were just fucking... We were just, like, pick, pick this shit up, like, off of a fucking telephone pole. Like, help wanted... Try to, try to help find the last unicorn or whatever. And we yeah, stumble dude. upon this, like, maniacal, crooked tooth bastard smiling son of a bitch that is the fire curator of some fucking zoo haunted menagerie of jail of jail of mythical creatures jesus man i took it just a whopping just a yeah. fucking whopping there for a second i'm sitting around right now a lot of fucking good my armor class did me it's bullshit all right man i got that door open let's do let's do something here yeah, Balrog, you're you're up. You, you can see the little the little grumpy man digging in there, snagging up all these glass vials, uh, and you are a good thirty feet away from barging in and thirty feet. Well, so I, I guess I, I'll, I'll advance then and and join Astroth side by side as it's meant to be. Play, baby, that's the play. Let's go. And uh, this, this guy isn't one for talking and I trust that Astroth and I could figure this shit out on our own so I'm going to fling my dagger at this motherfucker that put me on the ground and try to do some Homie don't play that. Do some damage again yep uh oh go ahead I don't like when you say uh oh okay alright so 19 we'll just count that right at 20 then mm. Okay, go ahead and roll damage as you just... So, damage is 1d4 plus 3. Mm-hmm. Uh, 10? 10 damage? Yep. The, what do you throw a knife, you said? Yeah, fucking dagger. Yeah, you would just, like, underhand whip this dagger, just, like, sticks him right in the thigh, and he's just like... Bah! Drops a handful of these glass vials. You just see these potion-like substances smash and just kind of spray all over the cement. Stone floors just coated. Yeah, you little bitch. Still here. Still here, motherfucker. Take that. Coming back. Nice throw, bud. He's fucking... Yeah. The, uh, the, the little man takes his now free hand, points it at Astaroth, and sends four dart-like orbs shooting into your armor. Take 14 points of damage. That ain't good, bud. Just, like, rip into you. You just, like, feel this, like, force. Like, you're getting punched by these little things. Astaroth, it is your turn, though. Yeah, well, that's good, at least. Is it okay if I call you Astamoth? Astamoth is fine. But you can only say that once in a okay. while. Like, if you, you mess up, okay. but you don't really mess up. ATM, can you go ahead and take your turn? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Um, I definitely am going to cure some of my wounds. Um, I only have 
the the lay on hands I, I I can only do in between a long rest, right? Correct. I can't just sit here and keep pumping it out. No, as long they, they're when they're gone, they're gone. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like we have to be like done. Like we have to. Mm-hmm. You have to take that long rest before you can gain those. That's what I thought. All right, so I think the play here is I got to get some of my HP back because I really don't want to fucking die. I think at this point in Astaroth's life, Cure Wounds is probably the best thing to go. What's Aid? We got Aid. When you kiss spell, supposed to. No. Okay, I am. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to try to heal some of my damage oh, up. Okay, so you cure yourself right. up. Cure wounds. Cure yourself, you little bitch. That's not. I'm sorry. Okay. I, so I, I apologize. Roll, uh, I didn't mean that. Yeah. Yeah, what the fuck, man? I love you. I love you as a human being. I love you. I love you so much. Okay. I'm sorry I stole that um, money from you just recently. 1D, Actually, 1D8 plus your spellcasting modifier. Mm-hmm. Okay. Finally. Okay, my modifier is three, so I throw a, a D8. Okay. Here we go. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Okay. Five plus three, so eight. Okay, regain he- eight health as you take a sip of Gatorade and you feel a little bit more revitalized. Wait, there's Gatorade in this world? Mm-hmm. It's made from Fair Gator enough. blood, though. I mean, it's basically like a compound of Gator blood and then mix in your own urine so that way it's able to re-immaculate itself into your bloodstream. You know what I'm talking about. The lizard mm-hmm. people that live mm-hmm. underneath the sewers in the New York City Strip they always come asking for money and you always give it to them because they use a hypnosis eyes to make sure that you are convinced of their lies. They tell you the truths that you're not prepared to hear. Are we listening to a fucking sermon right now? Where the fuck is going on here? Some sort of like conspiracy podcast all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now that my ass is healed up a little bit, um, Astroth, did we do? Are we still in the doorway, or did we walk in in this motherfucker? Did you just call me your character's name? Okay, Dick. Sorry, sorry, bud. Um, I was talking oh, okay. to my character. Astroth is going to step into the doorway and then um, move to the right. Okay, move to the left. Side to the side. Crisscross. All right, dude. Uh, defend my honor. Or something, Blade. Like Balrog. It, yes, it is your turn to action. As this maniac is now hurling spells. Shit. Um. Let's see. Uh, my dude's what standing in the door, sitting at fourteen HP himself, which is exactly the amount of, of damage that Derek took the last time, and he's currently Astroth. Excuse me. Is currently just taking another hit right and then and healed himself Mm -hmm. and so i think what i'll do is is heal myself can i can i do that again yeah so i can i can cure wounds uh, another time is it so what is that a level one spell how many level one spell slots do you have uh not have any first level spells or spells that scale to level one three slots okay so i've used one right Wait, you can use the... You have Thaumaturgy. You have one spell picked. What? Where is that at? I didn't even see that. Manage spells. Shit. I didn't even fuck with this. I was just using the spell cards. What? I made a mistake. Shit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why you read the book. You don't watch the movie. It is always lesser quality. Hey, Blade, did you ever watch Doctor Sleep? I was looking at that. I think that was a movie I wanted to watch. And I, was... I did. I did watch that. Yeah. Worth it? Yeah. It's it's a it's a great one. Oh yeah. Now welcome to Radio Land. Everybody, take a nice deep breath, and we're gonna take an inhale of this mighty fine Kush. I'm gonna see you guys on the flip side. We're gonna put on Katrina and the Waves. Dude, Kyle is fucked up right now. I love it. Wait, you're just staring off the space, bro. I'm looking at spells, dude. Mm. Yeah, sorry. I didn't realize that it was a. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't realize I had to do this. I apologize. All right. I think I have it fixed now, Kyle. Okay. What are you gonna spell him? 
a B. So spell. cure wounds. Uh huh. Uh, so I need to roll my D twenty first. Mm -mm. Not for that. No. No, that should just land. If you're willing to take the heals, you should just be able to give it to yourself. Stick it wherever you need it to be. You just give it yourself. And you take the the love and you heal up. So just roll eight. Get a six. Minus one. Minus one? Yeah. Oh no. Okay, so you get five. Five health back. Yeah, I guess that's what it says here, right? One D eight minus one. Mm-hmm. Balls. Alright, so You're doing okay. Said five. Alright, there we go. Alright. Okay. So if I've healed myself and uh we'll um then make like my uh cohort and uh move to flank. And I'll I'll move to the uh the left side there and uh we'll try to get a handle on this motherfucker and keep him from escaping. Okay, so you guys are on like opposite end, like opposite sides, like ready to like pounce on this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. So he takes his free hand and he starts chucking these potions. He's going to throw one right at Bullrock. That's a 17. What's your AC again? 12? Yep. You're 12. So this p potion, just like the little glass vial, smashes into your just rock hard abs and the glass just shatters. And you see this liquid just kind of splat against and then... <laughs> Soak into your body. I just, I just, god damn it. Astroth, you're up. God damn it, Bullrock. I really, I don't, I don't want to fucking have to like heal you or anything like that because we're fighting this motherfucker. Um, okay, so Astroth puts down the uh, bag of barbecue chips that he found on the table next to him. Oh. You put them right now. There's a bunch more vials. You just put this bag of chips down next to all these vials and like, mm -hmm. liquids. Yep. Okay. They were good chips too. Um, let's uh, let's 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 fuck this guy up a little bit. I'm sick of this shit. Um, Astroth takes his long sword and enrages as the fucker lights up with flames, and he jumps at this halfling asshole, waving it in the air, crashing down on him as he tries to strike with a, a, a searing smite. Alright. Roll to attack, buddy. D20. Pray for me, Blade. Or Bullrock. Who's ever listening. So, it was a 10. You rolled a 10? So, f plus 4, so 14. Like, that's not enough. Nope. You hit him. He's a little guy. What was that, Blade? No, though. So ass, ass to ass plus four. No, you want to do d ten. You're gonna. I'm gonna say you, you want to use the two two handed because you get a d ten plus two. Okay. So Which like, the d ten is yeah smiting with two hand. It's the one that looks like a flying saucer. This one. Yep. Nope. That's a twelve. Nope. <laughs> you literally showed us an eleven. Huh? Flying fucking saucer. Oh oh. That's eight. That's that's eight. Yeah. Right, we're gonna get there. It's the other one they haven't done. That's the one. Big money, big money, big money, big money. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Stop. Seven plus two. Ooh, a nine. Stabbing to the side of this little guy, and he just lets out like a. Yeah. Ball Balrog is up next. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah. Take him out, buddy. He's down. He's down for the count. Take him out. <laughs> we don't know that. It, you've just stabbed him in the side, and he went ah. <laughs> Whoa. Good. I'm concerned that he's gonna, you know, uh, fuck us up. But I suppose you're you're right there and and in harm's way, and uh, I'm inclined to uh, draw my short sword and advance to within stabbing distance and slash wildly at this motherfucker. 
Now I'm gonna give you advantage because he's currently being stabbed by Astaroth. So that means roll two d20s, you'll take the higher number. 11, 17. You, uh, you get this guy pretty good, you stick him. Uh, roll for damage. Oh, piss. Fucking three and three six. Oh, okay, that's something. That's God something, bud. Takes out another, like, ah, and he drops the rest of the potions at all of your feet. Uh, I forgot. All over our feet? <laughs> yep, I forgot to have you, uh, Blade, Back roll to a 24. D10 for me. Uh, let's see here. That's, uh, let's go. Five. Okay. Uh, you actually gain back five hit points. Oh, nice. You feel like that oh, potion that soaked into your body uh, healed you up a little bit. Look at the Irish. This little guy, is, he's panicking now that you've, he's flanked him, and he's just like, No! 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 Don't kill me! No, oh, all right. Please don't kill me. I'm just a simple, insane person. You don't want to kill me. And he, but he's just, he's saying all this while we still have our, our edged weapons buried in them. Well, I mean, I don't think you were like deep dicking him with your sword. I think you just like a quick, like stab, stab, get the tip in and get it cleaned out. Oh, all right. All right. It is Astroth's turn. Yeah. This guy used his turn kind of begging for his life for a quick second. Astroth, I think, I, do we want to ask him what the fuck is going on here? Or, I mean, are, are we too far gone? Just finish him off. No, man. I mean, he tried to. He tried to kill us. Yeah, I feel like he tried to. I didn't kill know us, that right? we. I didn't. We should I should just fucking didn't finish this asshole take off. Take him for the communicating type, but now that he's he's had a, an opportunity. Well, to he's save. he's scared. He yeah. He, he's seeing he's seen his his light end, and he uh you know he's begging like a little bitch. All right, I'm fucking over this. Astroth shakes his head at him, gives him a sullen look, and whispers. Tough titty, said the kitty. As he draws <laughs> his long sword back. And, it, and it's a giant horse dildo. God damn it, no it's not. Stop, Bullrock. <laughs> he batter, and he batters him and to death. Turn him into a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> As he pulls back his long sword once more, it ignites in flames as he swings it through his abdomen. Okay, roll to attack. <laughs> Five. What the fuck, dude? You know what? He's he's standing there. You pretty much have him subdued. I'll give you advantage. Roll another d20. See if you can't make it pull off. Come on, pull this guy off. Fourteen. That's a little better. Yeah, you strike downward with this flaming blade as he's begging you, looking square in the eyes. He's like, hey, I'm not such a bad guy. Jeez, this dude is fucking nutty. Roll for damage. All right, so is that a ten plus two still? Yeah. We got a 5 plus 2 modifier, so C Evan. He takes the hit, just like a sword into his shoulder. You can see the sinewy mass between his neck, and this got oozing it. blood starts to pour out and stain Jesus. his clothes. God, he's taking a lot of... How, what's his hit points? Jesus Can't Christ. That. Die. Bullrog, you were up. Well, Jesus Christ. Astroth, did we just keep fucking just hacking away at this guy like a couple of blind butchers i feel like he's got to be right on death's door man i feel like if you get a good one on him he's got to perish and we can save these fucking animals or whatever and, and we don't care what his story is at any at, at all whatsoever he's just an evil wizard dude yeah he tried he tried to kill you sweetie he tried to kill you yeah man what i mean you know how many times has Astroth or no. Bullrock just killed indiscriminately or because Bull it was Rock. like they're just doing their job or, you know? Bullrock, this is the weed talking. Bullrock, this is the fucking weed talking. Lock eyes with me. Lock eyes with me. He attacked you first. He drew first blood. Have you seen fucking Rambo? Have you seen Rambo? The Italian Stallion? Yeah. Yeah. That's the one with the cracker, right? Get your head in the fucking game and roll that d20. Roll that dick, baby. Despite Bullrock's inclination to question this character and get a better handle on what's going on, he is a ride-or-die homie. And, uh, 
And Astroth has committed himself to butchering this insane motherfucker. And so Bullrock, in Goliath fashion, draws back again with his uh, short sword and slashes wildly at this crazy motherfucker. Roll that d20. 15. That hits. Roll for damage. Six. You hear NWA fuck the police as you just curb stomp this guy and just <laughs> smushed into the ground, beating him mercilessly, cutting him with your swords until there's hardly anything left except for a mutilated corpse on this white, pristine floor. Jesus. Bullrock, I told you to fucking stab him. You didn't have to fucking mutilate his corpse. He's a he's a Goliath, Psycho. man. When he connects, he connects. True. A little halfling. Like a weird little halfling. He's about fucking guy. a quarter the size of the two of you. <laughs> yeah. It's like you just killed like a medium-sized dog. Killed a little child. If there weren't all these stupid a rules, child. my guy would have just punted him across the room. I mean, you could have tried that. You can always try that. So there's a bloody mess of this this the skeletal corpse has been just like turned yeah, into a I mean, raspberry preserve type situation. And you guys see that there's several of these potions still on this table alongside with a couple of books. And you see a, a couple of small uh, cylindrical uh, glass items. They're they're very egg like glowy orbs. So the the little halfling asshole is dead. So no more fireballs. Mm -hmm. So I feel I feel good about that. Astroth feels good about that. I I feel like we need to get down to uh, we need to to do some detect work. You know what what's going on in this room? You know a lot of potions around, a lot of weird shit, and me being the uh, tiefling paladin that I am, I'm going to try to wave my hands around in the air and use my my powers to detect the magic in the room. You feel magic in all sorts of varieties. Natural, some more cosmetic, some more shielding or protective. You feel all these types of magic, especially towards this large wall of force field like cubes is there any specific type of magic school of magic that i should know of that i'm trying to sense you get a taste you get a variety a spice of life okay. as i would say you get a little bit of you know some uh some necromantic you know if you oh. want to get into that i don't oh. know what you feel like doing uh there's some of that uh you know evocation uh, something along those lines. Uh, illusion. Do you guys like David Copperfield? He made the <laughs> Statue of Liberty disappear. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm getting the vibe. You can see that there's a panel up ahead towards this wall where there's several levers as well as a couple of buttons. I feel like we got to get a better, better handle on what's going on in this room now. So, potions and mystical weird force field containing odd creatures of odd or oddities and what have you mm -hmm. hmm. I mean our job Derek the goal excuse me Astroth is to set free this unicorn right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's right <laughs> uh, yeah that was the task at hand that's we were trying to investigate mm -hmm. the, the disappearance correct I mean this is and we saw it we saw it right there. So do we? Do we, we see on the wall? Do we try to figure out if that lever is the way to set him free, or do you want to investigate further? What are you thinking there? Well, I think um, there doesn't appear to be any other imminent threat around the room, so it's ours. I'll tell you what, though, man, finding that little potion on the floor or, or getting it splashed on my on my chest or whatever that was a, that was a bit of luck, eh? Yeah, yeah, you lucked out, man. Well, you did luck out. I uh, I not so lucky. I think uh, I think I'm gonna wander over towards that panel and do some investigation, see if there's any uh, instructions or identifying marks on it. Both of you guys rolled perception check. Three. You can hear like it almost feels like the fluorescent light hum as you're just snooping around in this room. Very just. Mm -hmm. 
The guy's a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we totally could have solved that right there. And we're just fucking... Uh, it's going to go right back around to you, man, because I'm going to cure I'm gonna cure some of my... I'm going to lick some of my wounds again. Uh, Astroth's feeling a little uh, beat up, beat down from that fight. Still, still bleeding a little bit. Um, the barbecue chips really didn't uh, help him out too much that he found, and uh, you know he doesn't know if there's going to be any other encounters that are that are going to become present. So um, he's going to absolutely well. Uh, his boy is looking around the room. He's going to once again cure wounds. Okay, give yourself the cures. Boys, don't cry. Is that a twenty? No, you stupid fuck. Ten? For key rolls? It's a spell. Yeah. Did you already burn all your spell slots? I think you've got, like, one left. I only got one spell slot left. Wait, is so... That, all right, so I have these fucking Jesus. spell cards, but in actuality, I, I my dude is only able to cast three spells. Correct. Forever? No! Or until I rest. Until you, yeah, until you rest and then level up and then you get to even more spells at higher levels and then you rest and it goes on from there. Oh, okay. I see. You don't get, like, everything out. You're like, I'm gonna resurrect the un- I'm gonna- Shit, maybe- Maybe I should just, like, fucking find one of those potions that hate you and drink that son of a bitch. How do you- How do you know what- Try- 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 I don't remember. I don't know what color hit you. <laughs> I was I was fucked, dude. I was, I was fucking like spooked out about the whole situation, yeah. man. I get fucking some shit splashed on my bare skin. Astroth, why don't you roll a d20 for an investigation? 16. Okay. You find a purple one that looks like kind of um, glittery. It has this real cool iridescence to it smells like health dude that's gonna get you high it's got that health smell to it vitamins <laughs> it's just gonna you're gonna see you're gonna see god bro fuck it man i'm gonna i'm gonna drink that fucker just go all in or are you gonna microdose your way to it i'm gonna microdose i'm gonna <laughs> take a little i'm gonna take a little sippy of it okay uh roll uh constitution saving throw what's that oh my god seven you're feeling fine for right now. No health? No extra health. You don't feel revitalized, but you feel okay for right now. You see, again, this table with several potions or other liquids, and you also see a panel with several levers and a couple buttons. Uh, I'm going to walk over to the panel. Okay. I can't like do anything, right? I can just move. Yeah. That sounds good. You walk over to the panel. <laughs> I hope that wasn't any like type of effect I'm feeling. Uh Bullrock is uh still uh I guess feeling a little bit fuzzy from all of the uh the trauma of earlier and the you know, just settling his rage from the massacre still of that poor tiny little fucking halfling man. But I just Obviously, just fucked hard with my sword. Never even knew his intentions. Never even knew what was going on. Uh, that poor, it's... sad little man that I actually did kind of want to talk to for a second. <laughs> that we cut I down. Apologize, man. I was, I was. We should have just tied him up or There's... something. I'm, I'm regretting. Uh, we need now. to just. We don't need. <laughs> 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 There's a lot of regret happening. <laughs> <laughs> They're kettle chips too. Of course they are. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I told you do guys, you, I'm fucking. Do you mind if I uh, break down these sheets of styrofoam while we do this? No, that's fine. I'm actually uh, scraping off a popcorn ceiling right at the moment. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> home improvement jokes. <gasps> Oh, dude, that show's coming back. Uh, no, it's over. All right, so uh, uh, Bullrock is going to sh uh, shake out the cobwebs again and uh, take one more look at this this control panel and try to uh, decipher whether or not there's any kind of uh, identifying marks on it that might help him how to re understand how to release the unicorn that's trapped. You get closer and you see that it's a panel with 
four levers, but they're in more of a X formation. So you can go up, down, left, or right, and then there are another... Are these like four D-pads? Yes. And then there are three other buttons. So it's it's like a weird Super Nintendo controller. Yeah, it's like a strange like controller panel. Okay. And the, the three buttons are labeled A, B, and Start. Boy, I'm worried that if I push the start button without doing some more investigation, it's just going to turn that fucking uh, unicorn into, like, ground meat. So, uh, Astroth, what do you uh, what do you think, man? You, you want to you wanna weigh in here and consult? Balrog is, is feeling a little bit anxious about just making crazy decisions. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, what, a, what, what, what else do we have to go on? I mean, you violently bashed this guy when I wanted to, like, see what was going on and <laughs> wait 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 this always happens and i always end up being the bad guy because of my size yep and that's some yep. fucking bullshit man <laughs> no no is... bro you said you want to kill him. this is being recorded you know don't play it back and so all right but anyways uh well at this at that rate then i suppose i have to take some action so i'm gonna uh reach into my pack and draw my faithful pipe take a contemplative tip. Did you gain anything off that that pole there, guy? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna actually no, because so like I have two actions, right? So I investigated the thing, and there's nothing fucking there that I can discern yet. So I'm gonna walk back over to the wall, so that I can take a look at the wall better. Okay, the which wall? The you're just gonna look at the 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 wall the menagerie where the you know the uh the oddities are including the unicorn i'm looking for i'm looking to see if there is like any markings or anything on the wall that would identify it so that i could better understand how these controls work okay uh investigation check fuck me dude he's so stupid (laughs) five (laughs) you see a big k on the corner of one of the 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 squares all right like Special K. Okay. Man. Dang it. <laughs> oh, no. My shoes are on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> nice feeling a little fucked up, I suppose. So I, got, I can't use any other spells right now. Can't use any what, Derek? Astaroth? Mouth? So I can't do spells or anything? I yeah. think you shot your white on all your spells at this point. All right. I'm going to go over and walk over to the unicorn and see if there is any latch on the uh, magical cube uh, holding him in. You reach out and touch it? Nope. You can see that there's, as you get closer, that K is fully fledged into a small word on the corner of the box. It says Konami. Like the company? <laughs> There's monsters. Okay. Is this? Oh man, is this how they keep making dreams come true? It says one thirty-two on the cell. One thirty-two. All right, man, fuck it. I'm pushing the start button. You hear a chunk as you can see that the cubes start to black out one by one and seemingly disappear until you're in this large warehouse-sized empty room. God damn it, Astro. <laughs> 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 My dude's just gonna walk over to the fucking thing and just beat on it with his fists. <laughs> just mash all the rest of the buttons at the same time. Are you really? Fuck it, why not? You know? <laughs> you just demolish. Dem- <laughs> yeah, can I, I'm gonna, on my way over there, gather up all the potions and splash them in my eyes. <laughs> I can't fucking breathe. Okay. Not only are <laughs> you dumb bitch. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get kicked out of this fucking hotel. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>